myself I will never think I will make a video of the Canada but this is it so there are so many person people who have a show a Canada geography around the YouTube waiters but not ever before anybody has done it so well I do it okay first is a big at showing of that huge country over five and a half million score meters no score miles sorry this was my first very big of one mistake around here I don't know how the kind of people talk I don't know what they say but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna show geography around here what I know Canada okay I know the population is 33 million I know it has really six and a half million square miles of the, the uh, total land area and it has the world largest amount of the inside in like lakes and weather phones and how much I think so there are over five million lakes total in Canada it has absolutely dominant amount even the Russia Federation is nothing close of it so uh, Canada is as like a United States I call it a state actually they are called provinces in Canada sorry once again but once again my slow memory just serving me so slowly so when the United States have a 50 states Canada seems to have 30 or 40 what are they well the first make on let's do a little bit to the East Coast well the, the Newfoundland was the when the Vikings found it on the 14th century Newfoundland and Labrador then there is the Halifax in the Nova Scotia is the second state actually promised New Brunswick and the Prince Edward Island then the French very small settlement Saint Pierre is there a Miquelen it's unbelievable small but is that even province then the second biggest of them all Quebec the, which is the France Canadian to the home cell place Ontario Manitoba Shaska Sevan Alberta British Columbia Yukon Territory Northwest Territories is also I think so it's one big uh, state Northwest Territories it have a so, small area separated call it Kiwati Fort Smith Kitimet Oath and Puffin Island to very north so the Greenland and so the Canada is cover all the North America, the, the northest part of it. It's just the share the world longest to two countries border with the United States into Alaska. Also, is the one of the, the worst, you know. So the United States of the America is the only country, independent country with a cover or to having some border with the Canada, and it just have a close proximity to the North Pole in the very north part of the Canada the Queensland the Canada has one of the north world northwest airport very north to the settlement in the over north to the Greenland so what the Canada has it has the biggest towns very much to very sound rains bacon into the very west place the hottest the warmest place of the all Vancouver and to Victoria, these two places very south there are the, the one of the, the million town. Then the urban very high big towns also Calgary, Edmonton, Regina, and then there is Toronto. A lot of different towns call it Brampton, Hamilton, London, and uh, Mississauga, Montreal, Quebec, and Ottawa. These are the main biggest towns there. There are also important towns. Halifax, Nova Scotia, that there are also side zones with the Newfoundland areas there. Laval, uh, that there are the Thunder Bay, Winnipeg, Saskatchewan, Mujab, and there are also very important, perhaps call it the Dachshund City on the very north, and the Horseshoe, White Horse. The Canada geography really showed that the population have a very much density and very much close proximity important of the very of this small portion. Half of the Canada population really lived this Ontario Quebec border, very small area. The second half has very much the spread at all our rest of the Canada. Like the, the Vancouver and the Southern part of Alberta have what all these areas are. So what the geography is? There are the mountain areas. The most important is, of course, 
is the Rocky Mountains, cold, the truth, the whole the West Coast, alongside Sote. When it's just big and ants were the South in America, it's just separated. It's one of the most important portion of the geography of the, the Americas, call it. And this go all up to the Alaska. The highest mountain is there. It is called in this time Mount Loka, what is somehow to 23,000 feet high. And it's the, one of the highest of the North. America thought Alaska has even higher Mount Denali. What is and that's really Mount McKinley only beat uh, that mountain. So the most important days is there are the Montreal and the Toronto and the, the Southern Bar. These towns have also one of the oldest settlements of the Canada. The France and Canadians and the British Canadians. These two the countries from Europe very much took this country to themselves. France took this one of the ten of the portion of the whole the Canada and the British took the rest nine of the ten of the whole the Canadian area to themselves. And that means that very much of the history is a present of the English Imperium of the Canada. They have a there has been so many However, very uh, native uh, cultures, a uh, native person, and uh, crowns and uh, tribes around, however, been throughout the history before even settlement. So the Canadian history of the European times, there has begun something the 16th century when the Columbus after sailed. The first settlement, however, was on the 17th century when the British went to the very southern part of the Ontario and the and the fall new farmland that just began. Also the Scottish and Irish to settle to the east coast there. But then the French Canadians came in the sound of the middle of the seventeenth century to test the Saint Lafres River and fought inside to the Montreal Quebec and place at these places. Since then, however, the Canadian history has very much uh, the not much population consists there and have been huge through not only demographic but also to the, all the rest of the what will with human resources. When the earth and the whole the, the humanity have a just absolutely exponentially grew through this very small portion of the time, Canadians has also very much taken their own share even